We're at the Kuda in Mudapada and we've got an Okafen 130 kilowatt boiler. It's made up of a pair of 64 kilowatt modules and so each one operates independently with its own pellet supply and its own pump but then they work as a cascade in terms of balance performance. So you get balanced running hours from both of them and you get the full turn down capacity from 130 kilowatts down to 19 kilowatts. The boiler in this Kuda heats the whole school and what we see is that in the middle of winter when it's at its coldest it needs its full capacity and then as the day warms up or as the seasons also warm it can ramp down so you have a huge modulation range between the peak output and of 130 kilowatts and the minimum output at 19 kilowatts. With this pair of boilers we've got a left and a right and one controller in the middle and then a combined flue and separate pumps at the back but they're manifolded together so the boilers come out with a manifolded flue and a manifolded set of pipe connections and then you can keep on adding more of them so this is 130 kilowatts and we can put another pair on and it will be 260 kilowatts all with one central controller which is the brain and as many pellet stores as we want to have depending on circumstance each boiler operates completely independently but the system can also be configured so there's one pellet store and they share the, the pellets between them. With this installation we've got two flex silos so each module on the boiler has its own dedicated pellet store and su pellet supply through the hoses from there across to the boiler. So automatic refueling, there's no manual handling to do whatsoever and then the pellets are blown in to each bag at the top and fill up the entire bag. Each one can take four tons so we've got a total of eight tons of storage and that will give us an output of about 40 megawatt hours of heat energy so in this school they're having a refill maybe twice a year three times at the very most